Hey guys, what's up? If you already don't know me, my name is Sheena, and today we're going to be filming my February favorites. Um, February is an interesting month. <laughs> um, I accomplished a lot this month, and I was back and forth between here and home, which is three hours away from where I'm living currently. Um, so it was back and forth a lot, but you know, February is great. I absolutely love February. So today we're going to be discussing my favorite like skincare. I have a I have a hair care and a lot of makeup products and a couple of other random things. And I also decided I'm going to do music as well. Um, I listen to a lot of music, especially when I go to the gym and everything. Um, driving back and forth, I listen to a lot of music. So I have a few songs I will share with you guys. So yeah, we'll just stay tuned and we'll get right to the favorites. Alright guys, I'm going to start with a skincare products um so my skincare is actually face masks but so I have two face masks that I've absolutely been loving this month so the first one is the origins clear improvement uh, active char active charcoal mask to clear pores I love this stuff I've been wearing a lot a lot more makeup recently and this stuff putting it on your skin once a week just draws out all of those imperfections it clears out your pores it's amazing um, I bought the small bottle because I didn't know if I would actually like this stuff, but as you can see, <laughs> I've been going through it, so I'm going to have to go purchase the big one, but yeah, I absolutely love this stuff. This stuff's amazing. It just draws everything out of your skin. Your skin feels so much clearer, so much better. Um, if you have acne going on, like I kind of have some stuff going on with the t forehead right now, but if you have some acne going on, I would definitely recommend this mask. This is unbelievable. I absolutely love this. This is so good. Another mask I've really been loving, um, this is kind of a different route, this is a really hydrating face mask, but it's the Too School, or Too Cool for School Hydrating, Hydration Egg Cream Mask. I absolutely love this. I go through these like crazy. I definitely use these like twice a week. Um, but I fall in love with these, and there's actually so much like, uh, like serum inside that's attached. It's, it is like a cloth, or a sheet face mask, um. But there's so much serum inside this, so I actually like use it on my neck and I put it on my arms and everything. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. I use this, sometimes I'll use this after I use the uh, charcoal mask. And I'll put this on after just to bring back that hydration to my face because that kind of doesn't strip your skin, but it just clears you out so much that it kind of clears out everything in your skin. So I'll go over top of it with a mask like this after and I've totally fallen in love. I found out Sephora sells like a five pack for $30. Definitely get that one because if you buy the singles, it's like $8. So it's definitely worth to buy the five pack. Um, but yeah, it's a microfiber sheet. Um, so you're supposed to leave it on for like 10, 15, 10 to 20 minutes. I leave it on for like an hour. So I absolutely love this face mask and I would highly, highly recommend this if you have dry skin and need some hydration. A favorite hair care item of mine this month has been the Pantene Dry Shampoo. This is one of the best dry shampoos that I have found in the drugstore. It is, like, I, I use it every single day. And I'm almost done this bottle. And it's $5. Need I say more? It is amazing. It doesn't, it, it's clear. So with my dark hair, it doesn't show up. It doesn't leave a high residue. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. I would recommend this to anybody. This is way better than Betis. Um, which other one have I tried? I've tried a L'Oreal one. I didn't like that one. It put a big white cast in my hair. This is by far the best dry shampoo I have used from the drugstore. It doesn't beat some of the high-end ones I have tried, but for a cheap option, this is amazing. I would totally recommend this to anybody who ever asks for a dry shampoo. Um, I have long hair and it doesn't even dry out my hair either, like most dry shampoos do. It is amazing try it. I promise you will not be disappointed. <laughs> so going into makeup, um, I had so much fun with makeup this month. It was awesome. Um, I did a haul, a high-end haul recently, and I hauled the Stila Magnificent Metals. Oh my god. <sighs> These are so beautiful. Oh my gosh. If you've seen that haul, I did some swatches with these, but these are gorgeous. I have the shades Rose Gold Retro and Smoky Storm. They're amazing. They're amazing. Um, a lot of people say they flake and they kind of leave some fallout. I've never had that problem with them. Um, I just put them over top of eyeshadow, so maybe that's probably what works for me. Um, 
yeah, I've never really had a problem with them. They work really, really well for me. They're gorgeous if you're looking for some shine or some glitter on your eyes. I would totally recommend going for these. I definitely want to buy more. And they're not, like, that cheap either. They're, like, $32, I think, for one of these. But they're so pretty. They're so pretty. Um, and it's, it's just, like, a liquid glitter. Like, that's exactly what it is. It's, like... Um, they're just gorgeous. Here, I'll swatch the rose gold retro one for you guys, too. Like, they're absolutely gorgeous. I would recommend these to absolutely anybody. I would totally prefer this over loose glitter. They're An eyeshadow that I have been dying over this month is Bobbi Brown um, eyeshadow in Camel number 5. It is like a baby pukey color. But it is gorgeous on green eyes. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I use this as a transition color and I've been using this nonstop. Like every transition color in my palette has been switched for this. Like I just love this color so much. Um, and it's super creamy and pigmented. Like I never have a problem with it. Um, it blends wonderful. And it was quite a bit expensive. This was like $35 I want to say. But it's just a gorgeous color. If you have green eyes, I totally suggest to try this color. I know it's not the most appealing color. But just on the eyes, it just looks so, so beautiful. I wish I was wearing it today so I could actually show you guys. But a lot of my videos that I have been doing lately, I have been wearing this. Um, but yeah, this is just an amazing transition shade. A foundation that I hauled not too long ago was the Maybelline Fit Me foundation in matte and poreless and I got the sh uh, normal to oily one um, and I got the shade 112 natural ivory I love this it is a little too pink for my skin but the other one down from it and the one up for it is way too dark and is orange and then this one is or the one down from this is like way 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 too pink so I went in between um, it's not so bad once you like set it with foundation and everything but I absolutely love this this is amazing. Like, I have dry skin, and this still works amazing on me. Like, it doesn't cling to any dry patches. It's absolutely stunning. I, like, oh, and the coverage is unreal. This is an amazing drugstore foundation. I think I only sp spent, like, $13 on it, too. And it's a glass bottle. The only thing I don't like about it is it is, like, just a pour out. Or a pour out. Um, I wish I had a pump. That would be, like, ten times better. Um, but, yeah, like... I would totally try this. Like, I got the normal to oily one because spring is coming, and once winter is over, my skin goes right to oily. It's really weird like that. But, so I would definitely recommend this if you have any type of skin, like, any type of skin. Um, they do make a dry skin one. I haven't tried that one, but I absolutely love the oily skin one. It's amazing. An oldie, but a goodie that I have rediscovered this month, and I have used, 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 is the... Oh, now there's Laguna bronzer. It looks like this. I have hit pan on it. It is satisfying slash sad time when you hit pan on a product, but this stuff is so expensive, but I love this stuff. Like, you can contour with this. You can bronze with it. It is amazing. Um, yeah, I kind of rediscovered it this month, so I've been using it, like, every single day. <laughs> every single day. I forgot how much I love this stuff. Um, this was the first high-end bronzer that I ever bought and it was the best one I could possibly buy and I absolutely love this stuff. Um, if you have fair skin this works perfectly. If you, I wouldn't suggest if you have like darker skin but anything from like fair to medium this is a wonderful bronzer. It is not too too orange. It's well it has like a warmer undertone to it but it's not so so warm that you can't use it. Um, so I've been using it all through the winter and everyone's been complimenting my skin telling me my skin's look gorgeous and I look super bronze, and <laughs> so I love it. <laughs> so I've been having really expensive tastes this month, <laughs> but my boyfriend actually bought me the Marc Jacobs uh, Air Blush in Flesh and Fantasy. He decided to spoil me one day. I've been using this absolutely non-stop. This is gorgeous. Like, it's not that pigmented, but it just gives you, like, the perfect glow to the skin. It's peachy. Well, it's peachy mauve -y, pinky mauve -y, I guess, and it just gives the most beautiful, beautiful flush to the skin. This side is more uh, of the color, and then this lighter side of this uh, product is more of the sheen, and it just gives you, like, the perfect glow. I am wearing it on my cheeks today, and it's kind of glowy. Uh, the light kind of takes away from that a bit, but 
it is gorgeous and I absolutely love this. I do want to get more but they're so expensive. I think they're like $60. No. $50 in Canada for one of these. So it's kind of expensive but again you get a big big like it's 8 grams so I feel like it is partially worth it for a wonderful product. Like if the product wasn't good I totally wouldn't say buy it but this product is amazing and I've been starting to discover a lot more Marc Jacobs products because I fell in love with these. Um, yeah, like, they're just amazing products, um, I don't like hardcore blushes, so I think that's why I love that one so much, that it's just so muted, and it's, it gives you that just perfect, perfect flesh of pink. Uh, so recently I did a lip swatch video of the new Kat Von D, uh, Everlasting Lipstick, she came out with six new shades, I will have that video linked below if you want to watch that one, um, but the sh she came out with the shades Ophelia and Ludwig. Oh, I know they're both like the exact same but one's like Ophelia is a lot more pink. I'll swatch these up here for you. So this is Ophelia. It's a lot more pink and it is just the perfect everyday nude. I've been wearing this non-stop. I absolutely love this shade um, and Ludwig is more taupey I want to say like it's more mauvey brown. So the top one is like top one's Ludwig so you can tell the difference in them. I did buy all six because I absolutely love this formula. But these ones, I feel like she kind of improved the formula a bit. They don't dry out as much as they used to. Um, so Bow and Arrow is actually my all-time favorite lipstick by her. And these two are so, so similar. Um, so I absolutely love these two. If you're going to go for any of them, I would totally recommend checking out these two. Ophelia is by far one of my favorite. Um, if I'm looking for more of a cool tone look, I'll go with Ludwig. But they are just so stunning. I absolutely love those lipsticks. Alright, one last makeup uh, <laughs> makeup item that I have fell in love with is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Like, I have almost used like a third of the bottle. <laughs> um, so this is supposed to prime, correct, and set. It's 16 hour wear. Um, and honestly, this, this is probably one of the best setting sprays I have ever tried. Um, I'm not really one of those people that believes too much in setting sprays because like the Urban Decay All Nighter is probably one of my other favorites and the MAC one, um, but other than that, I don't really believe in them too much. Um, yeah, like I've sprayed them on my face to freshen up and just to sink the powder into my skin, but this stuff sinks it in. It doesn't like sink into my smile lines, so I honestly feel like it does help with that. Um, and it's, but like, it, yeah, it does have alcohol on it, so that's kind of a downside, but honestly, like if it works, like I don't mind using it. Um, I do like moisturize my skin every single day, so it's not so so bad and just the mist on this is like okay just wait is that not just like the finest mist you've ever seen on a setting spray like I absolutely love this stuff I would totally recommend this to anybody like I've been using this non-stop this past month since I held it so one item that I have picked up this month it's kind of like a health type item um, but it is from Sage and it is this diffuser <sighs> they have this Roma, yeah, what is this one? The Roma Breeze, but this month they had it in a marble finish, so every month Sage has a, um, like a new perk or, like, I don't know what they call it exactly, but it's kind of like a monthly perk where they put on a sale, and this was this month's, and so I picked it up because the other ones kind of just look, like, too plastic to me, and they just look cheap. This one's just super nice because it's marble and it's gorgeous, and I absolutely loved it. Um, so I got it on sale actually because I spent like so much money at Sage that you got it for even cheaper. Um, but I love it. It lasts, I think I had it going for like 10 hours yesterday, 8 hours, 10-ish hours. Like I had it going non-stop. Um, but one of the essential oils, like the diffuser blends that I've been using with it is the Yoga Blend. <sighs> it smells so, so good and so relaxing and calming. I absolutely love it. Um, I think that this is almost gone so if you're interested in it go pick it up soon because they're going to probably get rid of it which kind of makes me sad because it's so gorgeous and I love the marble I absolutely love marble um so I would definitely get your hands on it if you can and it's not that expensive like I think it's $60 Canadian with the perk um so I think you have to spend $40 to get it for $60 but if you buy it on its own it's like $75 I'm pretty sure so it's not so so bad um, but I've been using it non-stop. Um, I have so many diffuser blend oils. Like, there's some that help you sleep, which I actually, like, I want to say I'm a believer in it, but I could be crazy. Maybe my mind's making me think of it, but it has been helping me sleep. Um, 
and the yoga blend like helps me calm down and just get relaxed and stuff so I've absolutely been loving those. Alright so now into the music favorites for the month so I do have a few. Um, a lot of my music is country. I'm a country girl. I come from a farm. I love country music. So if you're not a, not for that, I'm sorry, but that's just who I am. I have wear my cowboy boots nonstop. Like I am a full blown country girl. Um, so I am living in the city, and I find I hate it. But you know, I'm almost done. Two months. So recently, I went to the Garth Brooks concert. And, whew, I am a fan of Garth Brooks, so I've been loving all of his music lately. Sadly, I don't have any of it to really play for you because I've just been in love with all of it. But at his concert, this guy named Mitch Rossell performed, and his music I've been addicted to. He's from Nashville, and he's just a new recording artist, and he's absolutely amazing. But this is one of his songs. That song just speaks to me, like, that is my life in that song, like, uh, but his entire album is so good, so I will make sure I link him down below. Give him a check if you love country, like, he's amazing. <sighs> I've been so, so in love with him. Um, another song that I've been into is Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt. Oh, that song's amazing. I absolutely love it. I wasn't like the biggest fan of Sam Hunt, but that song got me pretty good. Um, this is another one by Dustin Lynch. It's called Small Town Boy. Like, I think I love these songs so much just because they hit so much to home, but I absolutely love it. So, moving on from the country music, there is a couple more that I've absolutely fallen in love with. So, this is That's What I Like by Bruno Mars. So that song I always listen to when I'm getting ready in the morning. And then the next one, this is the very last song I'm going to play for you guys, but it's The Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. You guys probably heard this on everyone's, but it's just so good. I love it. It just gets me, like, dancing. It's like, <laughs> Singing like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, say boy. I absolutely love those songs. Um, so <laughs> those are my music favorites for this month. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to my February favorites. I hope you enjoyed the whole adding the music in. Um, I know a lot of people aren't a fan of country music, but 
that's who I am. I'm not going to change. So <laughs> if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. But I absolutely love those tongs and I love all these products and I'm so happy that I could share them with you. So make sure you hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. And make sure you subscribe too if you haven't already to my channel because I put up new videos like twice a week. So, <laughs> um, so I will link uh, some videos down below if you guys want to check those out. Um, but for sure, have yourselves a great March. March is the month of spring and my birthday. I'm so excited. I turned 21 this month, so finally it's time to grow up. But, um, so yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Bye. See you guys in the next one. See the stars